Argentina! Guys. Guys. Yes, Argentina. Yeah. Just about scraped it. Messi turned up with a goal. But nobody expected Carlos Rojo to be on the score sheet. And yeah, before I talk more, well, not much to say about that really, is there? Argentina play France in the knockout stage. That's the confirmation we get from that. Um, and France are going to need to turn it on. But yeah, I'm still wearing this hat. Been wearing it all day since yesterday. No. But I do have more highlights from the concert. Some unseen footage of me trying to get through the crowd to get there. I was not enjoying that at all. I was just getting so annoyed. Like, quick. Like, quickly annoyed. Like, when there's a crowd of people trying to get through. People like just like cutting you up. Nah, can't be having that. I'm gonna get to my concert seat, man. <laughs> but yeah, still reminiscing about that concert. It's great. It was great, and the guys are mentioned, and I've been playing this music non-stop. And it always happens after a concert. Always. I said it probably yesterday. Probably said it on my Instagram if you follow me there. Luisi21 official. Just to remind you. But yeah, this is another vlog, and I hope my vlogs have been taking you away from the everyday, making you appreciate the little things, making you look at the, the upsides, instead of moaning and whinging like we all do. And we're all prone to it, so if you do, don't like say, why well, am I moaning? Because everyone does. Everyone does, but I hope my vlog can put things in perspective sometimes. Because we all need that, we all need that. This concert made me really appreciate my music. I know that, don't just stick to the mainstream music, what everyone else is listening to. You've got to listen to a bit of everything. Be open when it comes to music, like with life, like with opportunities. You might not know how good they are until you take them. Or you might not take them and you might never know. You might regret it, you might not. But that's what we deal with and like I said, hopefully I can take you away from the everyday monotony of life just for a bit, 17 minutes or so with the recent vlogs, yeah I know they're long, I've, I, for a long time I was sticking to 10 minutes or about that, but I have had feedback that they're a bit long and yeah I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change hats just to change the tone so you know what I'm talking about slightly. And yet, I don't have an Argentina hat, uh, but I do have a Barcelona hat. And I need that to talk about Messi. So, one second. Don't know what to go that way. I almost forgot guys, here's the unseen footage from the Giovanotti concert which featured in the last vlog. If you haven't seen my last vlog, please go back and watch it, enjoy and I'm going to roll the clip and when we come back I will have a different hat. Oh, 
noise. This is not really bad. I don't know how far we got to footage in here somewhere. Last time I did that with Ronaldo against Spain it was like oh copyright copyright so let's hope this video don't get copyrighted. I'm paranoid that I'm not in the middle of the shot here but I'm gonna carry on because I know you guys love me no matter what so yeah anyway that game was all to play for for both teams like if Argentina lost they were out if Nigeria won, they were through. And it came down to Carlos Rojo. And boy, that was a striker's finish. But that Argentina team, the managers, like, you see his celebration. He just rescued it. Messi and Rojo rescued him from being sacked. Because he almost got sacked. But I love his celebration, it's crazy. But one thing we don't want to, like, one thing that's going to be all over the papers. It's Maradona and what he did when Rojo scored, you know. Come on, we all know he's crazy, but have some respect. Yeah, I'm probably going to get killed for saying that. Napoli fans. Um, but yeah, Messi, he had to turn up. There's another cat here. But yeah, Messi had to turn up. <laughs> Up. and he did typical Messi goal his weaker foot they say if he has a weak foot that is and he scored credit to Nigeria they, they got that penalty and they took it Moses took it and he did about 8 backflips and yeah 
I mean, was it once Mourinho? I can't remember which player. It might have been Eto or or over Femi Martins. He said like, don't celebrate like that. Otherwise, you're gonna get injured. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love a good celebration. Uh, there's been a lot of good celebrations in this World Cup, and I did say I'm not gonna talk about it in every vlog, but I have been somehow. Um, but yeah, frills and spills in this World Cup. But yeah, in that game, nobody expected Rojo to score. It's funny, a Mourinho coached player, isn't it? All these United players seem to be doing well, Lukaku as well. It's weird. So anyway, he just... <laughs> smashed it in. Strikers finish. Something that all the other five strikers didn't seem to do. Obviously Messi scored, but, you know, Iguain, you're the worst, probably the team, whoever chooses the team. But yeah, I'm wearing this hat because I'm supporting Messi, literally. Argentina. But I have to support someone. I mean, the Pope is an Argentinian, so what better team to support? That was an old Argentina team, and they just about did it. Um, but yeah, vamos Argentina! That's my only Spanish. I don't know. Come on, Messi. He's already a legend. And so is Ronaldo. But a World Cup. It's another level. And that was a very important goal for Messi's career. Now, of all the goals he scored, probably one of his most important. Well, for Rojo, definitely. I mean, three goals in his Argentinian career. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, just a short vlog. Just an update. I am out of here, gonna eat my lunch. Take it easy fam. Peace.